In their second day of cross-examination, defense lawyers for former President Trump on a mission to discredit the prosecution's central witness, Michael Cohen, Mr. Trump's one-time lawyer and fixer. The Trump team grilling Cohen over his criminal record, his bias against the former president, and his past admissions of lying under oath, seeking to show his critical testimony cannot be trusted, testimony that ties together documents and witnesses and puts former president and Trump at the heart of a scheme to silence adult film star Stormy Daniels about an alleged affair in the final days of the 2016 campaign and then illegally hide Cohen's reimbursement for the hush money payments, all allegations the former president denies. There's no case, there's no crime, it's a disgrace that it was allowed to happen. In sometimes heated questioning, defense lawyer Todd Blanche tried to poke holes in Cohen's recollections of conversations with Mr. Trump about the alleged hush money scheme. Blanche asserting over and over that was a lie. At one point, Cohen said, quote, I believe I spoke to Mr. Trump about the Stormy Daniels matter during one key phone call. Blanche shooting back, quote, we are not asking for your belief. This jury does not want to hear what you think happened. The defense also played clips from Cohen's podcast, expressing his deep desire to see Mr. Trump go to prison. But revenge is a dish best served cold. And you better believe I want this man to go down and rot inside for what he did to me and my family. As the jury weighs Cohen's credibility, more Republican lawmakers watching on pledging support for their party's presidential candidate. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Court is not in session tomorrow so that the former president can attend his son Barron's high school graduation. They'll be back on Monday as we near the finish line in this historic trial.